Nerdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Detective Conan chapter 1076. So, before I get into this new case, I got to talk about the announcements that Ayama made over this past hiatus. And one of them being that we ain't even halfway done with this manga and I am not surprised by this because we just got into the first act recently. Yeah. The first act was not too long ago, and we're in the thousands for, for chapters. And the other thing is, is that Ayama is going for the world record, and um, that world record in terms of manga chapters is held by GoGo13, and that manga has 1,931 chapters. And I hate to tell you this, Ayama, but... Uh, Morikawa is freaking ahead of you. <laughs> Hajime no Ippo is closer to breaking that record than Ayama is right now. Um, and, uh, and that's by a lot. Because <laughs> currently, um, as of this recording, Hajime no Ippo has um, 1,348 chapters. So... If any manga is going to beat that world record, it will be Hajime no Ippo. It will. Be especially based on the pacing we're going on. I'm telling you, Morikawa is going to beat that record before you do, Ayama. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get to 1076 and see what case we have this week. All right, here we go. Hey, Sunoko. Um, we're going to the uh, Romanov Dynasty's treasure exhi um, exhibition, right? Why is there such a long queue? Yesterday, didn't you say uh, that it wasn't crowded and that we'd be able to visit comfortably? Until yesterday, that is. Didn't you watch the news this morning? Not really. Did something happen? Uh, this exhibition centerpiece is something inherited by the Romanov queen's, um, queen consorts. Um, a tiara embedded with one of the world's uh, biggest garnets, Queen's Bet. Uh, Queen. Really? Queen's Bet? <laughs> really? We're going with Queen's Bank? Okay. Um, and it looks like someone forewarned that they, that he'd steal the very. <gasps> they steal the very tiara uh, tonight. Oh my god. Are we getting a Kaido Kid? Oh my god. We are getting Kaido Kid. A new chapter begins. Conan and his friends visit the museum. The reason for this huge queue is... Yes, the Kaido Kid! I love, love, love the some Kaido Kid. The fact that we are getting some Kaido Kid makes my life thank Maga Gods for this. Oh my god, so this chapter is titled Provocation. A new case starts. This time the one who will challenge this man is a guy who recent, who's recently um, being called the Rewa Magician. That rascal kid. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I love me some Kaido Kid. Ah. Ah, this feels good. No way, Kaido Kid? Um, uh, oh, it's, um, Poirot's, um, Azusa-san and, uh, Amuro-san. Are you two come also coming? Oh my god, we're gonna have Amuro here too? Oh, this is going to be good. Oh my god. They said that it was gonna um, take half a day to change our cafe's AC, so we're temporarily closed today, and the owner gave us, um, gave us tickets for coming here. That's so! Ah, the line line is moving. Let's go! And why? And that's why we're not on a date. Um, mm -hmm. Why are you saying so? Uh, why are you saying so? Is the, uh, is the truth the opposite? Uh, I know. Uh-huh. I know. I shall go with Ranchan and Sudoka chan Um, well, Amuro -san, uh, can go with Conan Khan. Is that okay with you? Uh, you're dating after all. <laughs> and it's the boy Rot's, um, uh, waiter. He's with the boy. Is that his nephew? Whoa, Amuro san, he recommended me the new menu. Where is he? I like him. Amuro, Amuro? Ah, yeah, this is why she don't want that mob. That mob will come for 
for her. Anyone, anyone who knows about fair girls or about women. Woo, man. Yeah, if you become the wifey of their idol, it's over for you. <laughs> Selena Gomez knows that. Whew, I can't believe I'm making a fever reference right now. <laughs> it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. I get it. This is uh, Vegas, so there are many visitors of, of uh, um, poor, wait, poor pot. Yeah, that's why someone like me being together with him is going to be a big incident on the internet. Oh, no, it's a big incident on the internet. Ugh, for a public security officer infiltrating the black organization, um, you're standing out too much. Oh, <laughs> oh poor Amro. Oh, God. Don't pay too much attention to it. Um, you even wore glasses. Um, but I feel like we're, um, we'll get inside in about an hour. Kit said that he would come at midnight, which means that, uh, uh, that the guests can't stay, but everyone wants to see the treasure that Kid Sama wants to steal. They sure do have a lot of free time, don't they? <laughs> um, no, uh, so how the, uh, Amrasan's card tricks? Um, the thing you said you would show, uh, show me when you're not busy. What's that? Um, I want to see. We don't have any cards with us. Uh, I have a deck, though. You have one? I always bring it one when it comes to Kitsama. Uh, to get a signature, for example. Then get ready to be amazed. Yee! I'll flip over the topmost card from the deck. It's the Ace of Hearts. I'll then um, uh, put it on top of the deck. Flip it. The topmost card is now buried among the others. Where do you think the Ace of Hearts is? It is in the deck. Well, then, please pick up the topmost card and take a look. D don't tell me. Amazing! The Ace of Hearts is back! Right? Right? Isn't he amazing? You're like a real magician. He could probably even compete with Kitsama. You're overestimating me. I think Amuro no um, Nonichan can do it, too. From double lift to double turnover. Huh? May I borrow your card? <gasps> it's uh, uh, oh my god. Uh, may I borrow your cards for a little while? First from the deck or the pack of cards. The topmost or the first from the top. If you pick it up and show it to everyone, but in reality, uh, you take two cards. When you put them back on the deck, you slide the cards a bit. It's best to make it such that the one that was hidden earlier, which is now on top, stands out. Then... And uh, keep holding the topmost card. Let the second card fall back to the deck and pull half of the deck out. Place it on top. The ace of spades, which is supposed to be buried um, inside, is now back to the top of the deck. Ah, I see. Doing such an old as the earth child's play, then acting all triumphant. What a pain in the eyes, isn't it? Ooh, great. Oh my god, great detective! Oh my god. Let me read this again. Doing such an old um, as the earth child's play, then acting all triumphant. What a pain in the eyes, isn't it, great detective? Oh, man, the cards turned into doves. And that man disappeared. What's up with him? That, ma that man, I think... No, he was probably Kaido Kid. He came to send a challenge to me. The one who was called the Kid Killer. What? No way! Last night, the host, uh, Suzuki, um... Jirokichi san uh, also called me here. Konakun, is that true? That man just now was kid, wasn't he? Yes, probably yes. <laughs> um, uh, yes? Uh, Kazami? It's Faraya. Um, you have a day off today, right? Uh, yes. Right now I'm at an idol festival. Oh, poor Kazami! <laughs> Dude, don't ruin Kazami's day off. Come on. And... Um, Okino Yoko-san is going to perform next. I'm sorry, but please go to the festival next time. No! Don't ruin it! Don't let Kazami have his, his idle time. Like, come on. Ah, uh, sorry, it's loud here. I, I couldn't. I'm saying that you need uh, to meet me right now. Yes? What? Dude... Just hang up the phone. Bro, just hang up the phone and enjoy your idle time. Public security? 
What business does um uh the PSB have here? You do know that on the third day, um, Queen Elizabeth of England uh, will visit this exhibition, right? What? Yes, the other day, the police uh, came here to inspect this place. They said everything was okay and um, left, so I thought that I um, that there was no problem. But it's about Kid's warning that he sent out this morning. If this treasure's uh, exhibition, Queen's Bang, is stolen, the Queen may be uh, dejected and end up changing her her route. That's why, to me, who is involved in Queen Elizabeth's uh, safety plan, um, please please let me know um, uh, your planned countermeasures against Kid. I don't think you can make up a big plan in just a day. What are you got? What are you going on about? We're always ready and waiting for him, you know. I don't mind if you keep talking, but before that, who is the blonde guy behind you? Ah, he is Great Detective Mori Kogoro Sensei's first apprentice. I am Amaru Toru. Yesterday, Mori Sensei asked me to be Kid Killer Conan Khan's assistant. Is that true? Please just pretend that it's true. Then can the woman, can the women please leave? Kid can disguise as you. Um, we'll watch from another room, Ojisama. I'll leave Conan Khan uh, to you, Amaro-san. Please do your best. Well, before we talk about plans, let's do the usual ritual. Ritual? You two aren't kid in disguise after all. Oh, they have to pinch him. Um, do you really need to pull that hard? It dirt! Because <laughs> remember, kid, kid's mass, man. And then, Conan Khan, uh, did you notice anything? Ah, uh, yes. Compared to other rooms, this room ceiling is awfully low. There are strange poles at the corners. Um, a square hole in the middle of the ceiling, and the tiara is right under that hole. Considering all of those and the fact that the case doesn't have anything that looks like a lock, if the case is open, the ceiling will collapse, am I right? Yes, that's Kid Killer for you. Hmm. I'll show you some of the footage, uh, some footage of this contraption um, in action. The forewarned time is midnight, hence there will be no one around uh, the case at that time. I gotta say this. Mofos are giving Conan credit now. Conan's got a straight credit the last time that he had to deal with Kaido. They know Conan ain't, Conan ain't no fool. They know Conan is for real now. I'm happy about this. Very happy about this. Oh, God, they realized that they were the stupid idiots. They realized they were the fools. I'm just thinking, like, if Ron was here, like, there would be some form of platypus or something. <laughs> Seriously, I need a Ron Conan crossover at some point. I do, because I could see Ron trying to put Conan in, like, a platypus costume. <laughs> oh, my God, I need that in my life so bad. I do. Seriously, can we get this? Oh my god, can I get this in my life, please? Oh my god. Uh, to demonstrate what happens when the lid is removed, I stood um, a bit away from the case and shot the lid several times. The lid opened and... Bling! Uh, in a wink, the ceiling dropped down. You can have only avoid it by jumping onto the case. But the case gets covered with a net made up of... Uh, Carbon on uh, nanotube. You won't have any way to flee. Bro, you are just underestimating him. You are underestimating the uh, the Kaido kid. Just like the, um, the M family seem to be underestimating Ron. Or as in the case earlier, the salty um, shopkeeper. Yes, this, mo th this was a salty ass case. The salty shopkeeper underestimate. Everyone fucking underestimates Ron. And his platypus greatness. Oh my god, I love Ron so much. <laughs> so we've tried um, uh, using elaborate tricks and failed every time, but the simplest physical mechanic is truly the best um, rope to, t uh, to tie him up with. Dude, I'm sorry. I have to say this right now. Does this... This really makes me wonder if this mofo is, like, related to Fred from Scooby-Doo. Because that's what this shit makes me think of. This is like shit we'd see in Scooby-Doo. Oh, God. How about it, Mr. Public Security Officer? Are you convinced? Yes, but just to be sure, please send the contraption sketch, um... A sketch. Uh, this place's photos, um, as well as the counter, uh, counts and placements of the officers in this hall to me. It's okay, but don't link it to anyone. Of course. Send them to my phone after um, you get them. Yes. 
But for Raya's song, why are we getting involved um, in this? Didn't I tell you it's for clean Elizabeth's safety? But according to rumors, kid, kid's looking for um, some kind of big, um, kind of a big gemstone. And if it isn't the one that he wants, he won't steal it and just flee or, um, or return it to the true owner, right? We don't really need to get involved in this. What if this is the one that he's looking for? Ah, yeah, and I have a big reason to not to not lose against him. Oh, this is some pride shit. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, speaking of salty. Woo! This is now this is more than a coincidence that we got some salt going on. Um, doing such an old as the Earth Child's play, then acting all triumphant. Yeah, this is a salt. This is some salty shit going on. Oh God, Inspector Nakamori, uh, the headquarters just oh, speak of the devil. Um, received a new warning letter. Uh, a warning letter from Kid. At midnight tonight, when you're all escaping reality in your daydreams, I shall sharply cut off the Queen's bang. Enjoy the show. Hello, Kaido Kid. When you're all escaping reality in your daydreams, what? Kid? Kid is going to put us to sleep. Kid is going to put us to sleep. Prepare enough gas masks for everyone. Uh, Roger. Hmm. A daydream refers to illusions observed while one is awake during the day. But the forewarned time is midnight. What does he mean? I know it was Kid. Well then. Uh, who will I disguise as? Yeah, Conan knows that's you. In the next issue, the clash between Kaido Kid and Amra. <gasps> yes! He's gonna try and disguise himself as Amro! Ooh! Yes, 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 yes. This is going to be awesome! I am ready for it. This is a game of pride. This is for pride. And <laughs> this is just a game. <laughs> This is a salty grudge, and a sal this is some pride and grudgeness and saltiness going on. I'm so ready for this. This is going to be awesome. I live. Oh, my God. 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 I know, and this is why I'm glad PC Pandas don't read this shit. They'd be saying that Kaido Kid would be going in blackface. Nah, he ain't going in blackface. Nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, God. I cannot wait for Kaido versus Amaro. This is going to be lit. And I love that we had just kid. We already had Kaido. Technically, Kaido versus Heiji in a way. Because he um, posed as uh, Kazuha. But... Oh, man. I really want Kaido to, like... I want Kaido Kid to do... I don't want Kaido Kid to pose as Heiji next. Uh, pose as Heiji himself next. But, so... You know what? Now that I think about it, and I was thinking about this originally, is that... Kaido versus Heiji should have been, like, the foreshadowing of this. And I am absolutely okay with this. I am. But God damn it, Ayama. I need a crossover of Conan and Ronka Bonahashi. I want to see I want to see Ron go up against Kaido Kid. I do. I would love to see Ron versus Kaido Kid so bad. Or shit, like just have like a full on mystery with Ron and um and Conan. Oh my god, that would be so good. Oh god, that would be good. I would love to see the M family even get involved in this. I would love an epic crossover for that reason. And have the and again have the M family involved. Can we make this happen? Because because um I'm spoiling um Rakamotohashi for a minute here. Because uh, Ron does have the blood of Sherlock Holmes in his in his veins, I just need this crossover to fucking happen. Seriously, Ayama. Oh my god, I need this shit in my life. I do. At some point in time, 
we need to have an epic crossover with uh, Rocco Manahashi and and uh, Detective Conan, and part of it has to include Conan wearing a Ron putting Conan in a platypus costume. <laughs> I need that shit in my life. I do. Oh my god, I would die if this happened. Oh my god, I, I need that shit. Oh my god, inject that into my veins. I need it. But anyway, I am so excited for Amuro versus um versus Kaido Kid. It is going to be epic. This is going to be a battle of wit. This is a battle for pride. Oh, detective pride. Dude, I can't wait to see what Amuro does with this. And you know what? We might get, not just for Pride, we might actually get some lore out of this too. Because remember, we might find out, we actually might find out a little bit more about Kaido Kid's situation. And how it might tie in to the Black organization as well. Oh my god, if you are going that route, Ayama, I would be so, so stoked. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Detective Conan content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, um, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.